welcome to Reanimator Reviews. Today we're going to talk about another convention that we recently went to, the New Jersey Horror Convention and Film Festival, which super exciting because this is a significantly larger convention than when we went to the sideshow horror market, horror sideshow market in the previous video, but it is brought by the same guys that put together that convention. So that was really cool to see how it grew. And this is uh, probably comparable to the size of Monster Mania, maybe a little bit larger, but definitely a new experience for the groom, which is really cool. And he did record everything that we're going to insert clips of. We finally got to meet our friends at Jerks Productions, which was so exciting. And we um, got a little sneak peek of their short film, Aqua which they entered in the film contest and are now award-winning short film, Aqua. Uh, I'm Brandon. I'm Jill. Uh, we run Jerks Productions, a Philadelphia-based uh, horror production team in our collection. Oh, don't forget our friends. Jade, look up. Jade. Hi. <laughs> Say hi, Jade. Hi. <laughs> Jade is the woman behind the hand in Aqua, and then this is the actual hand. Do the hand. Do the hand. Ah, that's it. Just like in the movie. Yeah, I just made it. It's in like Nara's town. Let's get the OJ back in there. So that was super exciting. They gave us a lot of fun stuff, like these uh, merch here. Got a little koozie for my seltzer. And these awesome patches. Can't wait to sew those onto some cool jackets. And Brandon gave us a disc with some goodies on it, so we can't wait to watch that. So, of course, first when we walked in... Um, we saw the table for Troma, which all y'all know how much I love Troma. And I finally got, is this upside down? Yes, it is. I finally got a physical copy of Terror Firmer, which is one of my favorite Troma movies. It is such a good time. And like literally $15 for this, a steal. Hello. Love this movie. It's pretty much a spoof on how they make every Troma movie which is hilarious. They also threw in these awesome trading cards. I think they're from the 90s, he said. So I don't know if I want to open them. I mean, I kind of want to open them just to see what we got. But then the collector in me is like, don't open that. But I'm probably going to open it. So we didn't buy anything from this booth, but... They gave us a bunch of stickers. Check out their website. They have a lot of really cool stuff. It's a lot of uh, like spoofy type stuff focused around serial killers and mur mass murderers. I was going to say merce murderers. Mur, mur, mur. But anyways, check them out. They're very cool. Um, we got to see this awesome booth with all of these different dragons. All different themes like Harry Potter, Star Wars, uh, all the, the slashers that we love very 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 cool and the people that ran it were so sweet and just you know told us about how they put everything together and just the time and effort put into everything was really awesome their website <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
So then, to my shirt, ghosts, ghouls, and graveyards. Could not pass this up. Love it so much. I also bought myself a hat. Matching hat here. And then it says graveyards, of course, underneath. Very cool. I haven't gotten to wear the hat yet. Today's the first day I'm wearing the shirt because it's very chilly here. It's like low 60s or high 50s, I think. So perfect weather. What happens to these shirts? I don't know. There we go. You got a medium. Sorry for the wait. Looks alright. Duck if you don't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> Definitely, for sure. She's hiding. I couldn't pass this up. It was, uh. They're called horror boobs. And I love horror. I love boobs. So who could, you know. That's perfect. They had a lot of cool stuff, a lot of stickers. Please check them out. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I love Todd, the director. He's, he's awesome. He's really awesome. And he's always open to interviews and stuff. You do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. They are. They're, they're nervous too. But, but he's really down to earth. I really can't wait to get all the weird looks wearing this shirt. That's exciting. So, as you guys may have seen, I recently posted my review for Clownado, which I absolutely loved so much. And it just so happened that Wild Eye Entertainment releases, can't see, Wild Eye Releasing did have a table there. They actually shared it with uh, Horror Boobs. Are you looking at? And we got to talking to the guy who was running it and let him know just how much we love Clownado. Unfortunately, they literally sold out all the copies that they had there, so we weren't able to get our hands on a physical one. But he was kind of like, oh, you guys review stuff. Have you seen this? Do you want this? And gave us a copy of uh, Velocipaster, which sounds amazing. And we cannot wait to watch this. We also got this one, Don't Look, which looks like uh, is going to be right up the groom's alley here with the slashers. He also recommended this one, Sheborg, which looks cool as heck. This he explained was a documentary about the scary stories, books themselves, and the controversy that surrounded them in the 80s and 90s and how they were kind of put on this forbidden book list. And I'm really into documentaries like that, so I was really excited. And then, of course, this one which is Bone Hill Road, which is a Todd Sheets movie who also did Clownado. He said this is all practical effects, so I'm really, really excited to see this. Our friend Brian Gatto from Horror Show Host always raves about this movie, so we are so excited to watch this and review this, so awesome. 
Thank you so much to Wild Eye for gifting us those movies for review. We cannot wait. And this, this convention was really, really fun. We got to walk around the meet and greet area. We didn't get anything signed or get any pictures this time, but I did get to oogle the guy that starred in Nightbreed from a distance and just like kind of fangirl. We got to stand about three feet from the Soska sisters and both fangirl. The groom got to stand probably 20 feet away from Dustin Rose and go, oh, it's cold dust. So that was really exciting. And just seeing everyone walking around, everyone was really cool. My only gripe about the convention is that the floor that we were on was very dimly lit. And I understand that was for the ambience of like, oh, it's a horror convention, you know, but I don't have very good vision in dimly lit places. So it was kind of frustrating to really look at things and figure out like which movies I wanted or if I wanted any merch, if I couldn't clearly see it. Personal problem but still frustrating, still something to note because there are people that are visually impaired that still enjoy all of these things. And I feel like it should be, you know, hey, maybe expect this if you're going to go to this place in particular. Just, I think maybe that's how just the lighting was. There wasn't a lot of lighting on the floor, but that's my only gripe. I felt like it was a really fun time. Um, I got a little out peopled you know, pretty quickly just because it is a large space. It does attract a lot of people, but you know, there were places you could get, you know, a drink or take a break or whatever. So that was really cool. And I think that about wraps it up. Uh, we are looking forward to possibly going to Monster Mania in March. If we get our finances all good and, uh, hope you enjoyed this little mini haul vlog kind of thing about the convention. What are your favorite conventions? Who are some of the actors or people that you've met that have really stuck with you? Please leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did like the video. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And I'll see y'all later. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,